strength, ease of installation, level finish, and the dependability of precision engineering. The culture came from the foundation of our forefather, which was um, Eric Cookson back in the 50s, and he brought his own cultures from, from Austria, and he's a hands-on person, and, um, he, and he was with them. He eats with them, he, he helped them out, and by doing that, the people sort of appreciate it and embrace that, and once you embrace that, that's it, you can't stop what you're doing, you know, everything goes in one direction. Rundle honestly believes that people are the greatest asset to a company. It's just a warm, humble atmosphere. Everyone's happy and smiling and keen to do their job and keen to help and I think that's really important as well. This would be, have to be the best company that I've ever worked for is in looking after people. Rondo was my first job and it's been a massive learning experience but it's been the best of my life so far. <laughs> Working at Rondo is like a home away from home. We are like brothers and sisters, we always help each other. It's not a workplace, it's a home away from my home. <laughs> home away from home. Yeah. That's why I reckon we're so successful and we've come so far. The both of us too. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, so that's a bit it's different. But yeah. duo. Yeah, so. And I'm still enjoying it, for after 40 years I still thoroughly enjoy Rondo. I'm looking forward to probably do another 20 more years at Rondo. We tend to put our customers first, you know. Our customers are our priority. They don't want us to just sell a product to them. They want the total system solution and they want us to help them deliver it on the site. Every day we'd have customers that forgot to order something. So they ring up and then we'd get it out to site within an hour or two sometimes. We, um, we do what we can for the community and recently we held a fundraiser to help those who were affected by the bushfires. We did what we could. We we banded together and fundraised over $2,000 for, for um, the bushfire appeal. The best job that we've ever worked on would be the Royal Children's Hospital because we had such involvement in that. They had about half a dozen cranes up and each crane had a child's name on it. You go there and you feel like you're, you're actually you're making, making a difference. You're making a difference, that's yeah. right. When we started, it was uh, just a small time operation, small company, um, a handful of staff. We've got a five star uh, manufacturing plant, but we didn't come from there before. We, for many, many years, up to four years ago, we were at a plant where when every time it rained, we had to get a sort of a tow truck to pull out some forklifts or some trucks that were bogged down. And from those sacrifices, you know, that's what you got today. You got a five star uh, manufacturing plant. When I first came to Rondo, we were on average pushing at around 55, 60 tonne locally. Now we're averaging locally around between 80 and 90 tonne a day. Um, we ship around all around Australia to our other Rondo sites. We can push out between 200 tonne a day on average. Innovation is extremely important to Rondo. Uh, we need to continue to lead the way in innovation. It's obvious Rondo manufactures some of the best products in the world. It's a quality product, easy to use. It's like the black caviar of racing rondo, it's the elite. We pride ourselves on our technical superiority. So we have a very strong uh, engineering and design team. Plenty of uh, uh, technical challenges and I like challenges. We've built a unique position. We're certainly regarded as the technical experts and um, the business has certainly a strong foundation going forward. Rondo is certainly becoming more of an international player. They started business as an Australian company and then expanded into New Zealand. Uh, further than that, they expanded into Malaysia and now India. UAE, Macau, Hong Kong. Indonesia, the Philippines, China itself. Um, we're now currently working on some very large projects and uh, that would be uh, the Burj Dubai, which is the tallest building in the world. The uh, Mumbai airport, it'll end up in about four years time being the busiest airport in the world. The 
City of Dreams in Macau, which was a totally integrated resort. Yeah, and I think that's why the business must see itself firstly as an international business and not as an Australian business. It's not too many businesses that can say they've been in business 50 years. They're a market leader now and in 10 years time they're going to be a market leader then. We're still the number one company in what we do. They're going to push, they're going to keep on pushing, they're never going to sit down. Rondo goes above and beyond for both our customers and our people and continue to do that on a regular basis. Everyone will keep coming back because it's a good product to use, easy to use and uh, we're the number one in the business.